yeah so as i was saying um the process of pursuing it's about it's not basically just playing hard to get to play hard to get for excitement for fun for humor for whatever you want to call it playing hard to get is supposed to check people's character it's supposed to um check how people take no it's supposed to check how people react to your boundaries and i will add something onto this uh <laughs> this number eight if someone is pursuing you and when you met this person say they were in a relationship and they're pursuing you come on come on let's get out of those funks you know like it's ugly like you're putting yourself in a negative situation a push and pull you know so this is why i say play hard to get it's okay ladies for you to play hard to get and guys because these days women are pursuing you don't be easy also check someone's character you know don't just go by um what you see because what you see can be deceiving you can be biased you can like someone until you know like your senses are off check people's character how they are treating other people how they are treating people who are serving them people like waiters like security people you know people who are basically who seem like they are lower at a lower status than them check how they treat them because how they treat those people trust me is how they will end up treating you you can deny it but facts are facts also check how they treat the people in their lives check how they treat people who are not kind to them because that also says a lot about someone's character so in the pursuit please before you get into dating check someone's character it's important because when you get into dating i feel like a lot of people become biased and not all of us have the same beliefs about christianity because christianity has a different standard for christians you cannot date without a purpose you know and for the other side of christianity people can date for fun people can date for you know whatever status people date for you know yeah so really check people's character during that time um okay number nine i talked about it it's about no one owns anyone except god so don't go around feeling like you own someone because you're dating you do not own anyone even if you signed a contract you do not own anyone i'm going to repeat it again you do not own anyone you do not even own yourself god owns us you do not own anyone so that does not give you a right to tell people how to live who to choose if that person um if you choose someone who is less committed you know like the best way to protect yourself is get out of it if you cannot uh, restore the situation but don't go around like sneaking around checking people una gongadi birika ndo julika nyuko kwa nyumba like na like who are you huh? <laughs> like me by the way get mad and i hear some stories like you need to follow and here's the thing if you need to follow someone to check what they are doing that is already a lost cause because let me tell you you cannot change people and if you feel like you need to check someone to follow up on them it's already a bad situation they are already doing what you think they are doing and sometimes maybe it's just your insecurity so that's something either to to check in yourself do you want to be with someone who makes you feel like that and also are you mature enough to be in a relationship where someone has freedom like if you cannot go i know people say uh, like it's a contract that people have to call you when you're in a relationship every single day people can miss a day because they're tired of calling you you know not actually tired of calling you people are busy like investing maybe they are with family maybe something has happened in that day and they have not called you so when you make that thing so huge it is like the apocalypse came and left you like come on who are you <laughs> get your life straight be so busy with your life that if these people went away there would be no difference in your life you get like there's this scripture in the bible that says 
if you're married live as if you're not it does not mean neglect your partner it does not mean neglect your kids it simply means be independent have a life of your own i keep saying this have a life of your own have a mind of your own have principles and boundaries know your worth or people will dictate your worth people will tell you who to be where to go who to become when to gonga be because you get so like check yourself check yourself before people check you <laughs> next go through that pain gracefully i feel like this one uh, people put a lot of wrong information about how to deal with relationships things like rebound if you do not know what rebound means it's simply like people say the fastest way to get over someone is to get under someone let me tell you that is like treating a disease it's like basically you are an addict you've gone to rehab to sort an addiction you get but instead of sorting the addiction you have gone off from one addiction to another addiction worse addiction because let me tell you if you cannot go through pain gracefully and by gracefully i mean if you cannot stay in a place where you feel it's okay for you to cry by yourself you feel like it's okay for you to be broken for a certain point like that's already an issue you need to be okay with pain people need to be prepared with, for pain i know we live in a very positive i'm optimistic nothing bad can happen in my life Usa generation but the reality of life is this hard times are inevitable there is no one who has been born who has been birthed in this life who has not gone through pain and the moment you uh you get that out of your mind out of your mentality that it is not normal for you to go through pain you have already destroyed yourself because pain will come and you will not know how to handle it you need to understand when it comes to breakups you are not in control of how other people feel how other people elevate how other people grow so what does that mean there is a possibility that you will go through pain whether or not you are in a happy situation right now in this moment you know prepare for bad times as much as you prepare for good times that is wisdom you can go and wish away bad stuff i'm telling you bad stuff will happen because that's the way of life we do not live in a perfect world the perfect world belongs to god in paradise in heaven that's the perfect world that's the place where pain does not exist in this world we get the good times and the bad times that's the way of life so prepare for good times and bad times that's maturity that's growth that's actually a positive thing to prepare for good times as much as you prepare for bad times you understand Next, the people you think you cannot live without you will one day wake up and not even recall them i trust me that's reality also you will not understand how your former self chose that sort of situation back then okay i'm not going to read all of it but basically the people you think you cannot live without today i'm telling you you will wake up one day and you will not even remember their names and even to remember their appearance you will have like stalk them online to remember how they look like and sometimes if you remember you will be like you get like why was i in that situation why in my right mind why was that person you will not even relate with that with your former self as your present self like it's that real like people grow you out to grow things you out to grow the person you were so much that you can never go back to the same situation and even if let's say there is a possibility that the same situation occurs there will be like a different dynamic to it you will go into it with a mindset of um self love you will go into it with different faith both of you will be at a different place and if you go back into it as same people then the cycle will keep going it will keep going because you're not learning and the funny thing about life is if you do not learn a lesson the first time the lesson will keep going it will keep recurring you will keep getting into the same class over and over and over again until you get it right so basically what my main point is is to say let's stop stalking people 
you know, ending people's lives, ending people's, you know, investments, you know, for the people who are like in situations where there are people who are like, they have signed a contract basically. And I'm going to say sign a contract because love and marriage is not the same thing anymore. Like people are so into uh, relationships that they forget the line between commitment and relationship. Like these days, they are two different things. There are people who are looking for marriage instead of looking for love. There are people who are looking for a paper signed instead of looking for commitment. If any human being cannot commit to you without a paper, that is not a commitment. They will keep doing the same ish they were doing when they were single while they are with you. A paper does not change anything. Taking a dowry to your family does not mean anything if the person has no commitment. You get it? So stop looking for marriage, stop looking for a relationship, and look for love, loyalty, and commitment. You understand? I was watching the other day um, this thing. <laughs> I'm not going to mention names because it's someone who is not. And I remember this guy was asked, are you in a relationship? And he said, he basically said, yes, he said, I have a girlfriend but I'm single and I was like yeah if you're not rolling your eyes <laughs> I'm going to pray for you because that's just wrong and it made me think like what is this like how does this female see or value or put her value in so much that this human being who she calls her partner has the guts to stand up in a public platform with billions of people actually not billions like basically the entire world watching and seeing how he devalues her and it's just wrong and i feel like sometimes we blame the other person but we need to take a step and blame ourselves for the things we feel like we have given like for the people who are investing in people's uh, education with the expectation that they will marry them like come on that's not fair and for the people who are manipulating other people so that they can get education you can do better like surely god is not so selfish that he can deprive you of money to go to whatever you want to do like get to school or get wealth surely our god is not that selfish <laughs> unless you know like so my main focus is let's be okay with breakups you know let's understand that breakups is a part of life let's understand that breakups happen for the good of all of us you know there are people who get into um shady relationships and they grow in those relationships they understand it's not worth it and they get out that is a healthy one there are people who stay in toxic relationships they find that they are not who they are they are not living their purpose and they get out that is healthy there are people who god has not allowed to stay or to settle in certain relationships because god has better and that is not to say that that person you're with is not worth the value god is putting in you it's, it just means that God has placed everyone in different places in life. And everyone serves their purpose in this life in some sort of way. No one was born in this life to just be. You understand? Everyone is valuable. Everyone is worth it. Yes, even the people who are sitting idly outside on, you know, like roads. Even the people who don't know, like, what to do with their life. They have value. Like... They have worth. Poor people, rich people, all races, everyone has value. Everyone has like worth. Like when Jesus Christ died, imagine a God coming to lower himself into humanity to die for you. Like how much worth do you think you are? Like you're worth the death of a God. You're worth the resurrection of a God. And you're sitting with in bad situations you're allowing yourself the wrong emotion simply because of a breakup like let's it's about time all of us we grow up you know like from the older generation and the younger generation let us all mature and understand 
pain is a part of life pain can even draw us closer to god pain can draw us closer to loving ourselves pain can like let's say like situations like this have you ever seen like people who have gone through breakups they get out and they become um they look better they start pursuing their career they start living better and happier or there are people who go through breakups and they meet people who are actually meant for them people who make them elevate in like via their soul the way they live life so the things you consider like they are bad calamity is not necessarily a bad thing i know there are bad things that happen that we cannot understand but I promise you calamity sometimes is a good thing there is no bad thing you'll ever go through in your life that you will not see the purpose of it in your future so let's keep in mind let's let's stop attacking people for the choices they make let people go if people want to go let them go you know and if you're holding on to people who want to go please go sort yourself if you need to go for counseling for therapy if you need to sort something in your life if you need to stop investing in people who you feel like you need to buy their love that is already a situation let it go do not and i'm going to repeat this thing because i feel like people don't hear people don't listen to it guys if you're investing in a female to get the affection please stop please stop and if you want to help someone do it in a way that it is charity look at it as charity and what do i mean by charity you're helping people who cannot give back to you you understand like don't give for like with the mindset that you're getting love in exchange you cannot buy love you cannot buy affection these people will leave you and they will find other people who are better or you will end up finding yourself that you're pursuing people and you're doing the most foolish things ending you know putting a distraction in your life when you could have lived to be one of the greatest people in life like let's stop that let us all grow up you get please let us all grow up if you're going through pain talk to someone if you have no one to talk to get on your knees and pray and actually try this if someone has broken your heart today please kneel and pray the best life for them i know it sounds like too much but kneel down and pray to the god above jesus christ to give them the best life kindness is not something that god forgets no matter how much it seems like it's not cool in this world to be kind like learn to pray good things for people even people who have taken you through bad things all right so in the next topic i'm going to talk about red flags to look for while in a relationship or getting into a relationship or during the process of pursuit okay and thank you for your time like share subscribe okay. and if you have any um what do we say comments opinions if you feel strongly about something please come in love you get this is a space of love see you next time maybe we're like share subscribe future makeups